Hey guys, it's Nort here and welcome back. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you the unlimited Microsoft point glitch. Unfortunately, the one I uploaded, I'm very, very sorry guys, but I realised I had missed quite a crucial point of that glitch out. Uh, and that is actually getting your account noticed on the refer a friend part. So, this is the newer video. Please do not hate guys. I'm so sorry and I will make it up to you in the future. It was one simple mistake. And I was following a tutorial that I was following from my friend's idea, which we tried to hack to like crack in that night. So like rumors from other people that Unlimited Microsoft Point Glitch was the next one coming in the market. So we did kind of have to crack it as fast as we did, and we did, but we kind of we didn't do the commentating properly. So all the first steps are the same. You just got to set your uh, local to Japanese, sign out your account, click on Create Profile. Now you'll always notice that I've also got 21 accounts all on Xbox Live. Uh, about one or two of them are just random accounts that aren't on Xbox Live, but all of these ones are ones I've done, and um, I'm uploading and referring a friend, but unfortunately a lot of these ones are either still on Xbox Live or created today or yesterday. So anyway, let's get straight into this glitch. All you want to do is create an account. This is sped up a little bit just to let you know, so please look in the description below or pause this video if you get lost at any time. So you got to click Start and Player 2, create your avatar as anything, and then join the Xbox Live. When it joins Xbox Live, it should connect you to a network and take you to an Xbox Live dashboard. Now once it's done that, all you want to do is click continue and enter your first name. Now my first name is Fred, so I'm just going to enter that in and then put in your email address. Now this is the hard part, you've got to put your legitimate email address in that you know the password to. So you can either create one quickly or you could just use one you know. But unfortunately you can only use one email address per account, so this could be a bit time consuming. But <laughs> It could be a bit uh, time consuming guys, but it, could, it will actually. Um, it will definitely benefit you in long term. So once you've got the email, you then want to use the password you want to sign the email with. So this is kind of blurred out for you guys, so I'm so sorry for that, but it's my really bad editing skills. So once you enter the password, it will ask you to enter it again. If not, then it will say can't sign in. So I'm just going to blur out the next password because the next one um, is the one I use for the next account. I use really good editing uh, skill guys, you'll know that, I'll just literally stick up a random twisted version of the screen because I'm pro on Vegas. So I'm using an uh, email that I use all the time called jigsawtv at gmail.com but then I kind of mucked it up, I realised that you've got to put your legitimate email at the start and then jp.com at the end. So instead of putting hotmail or gmail it must be jp.com. So your legitimate email at the start and then the jp.com at the end of it. So once you've done that you then want to blur your screen like I've done here and type in your password. Unfortunately guys, uh, last time I did this the account got hacked and I just don't want that to happen again. Actually, you won't be able to hack this account unless you guys are amazing at looking for your blur or you just pause the video straight after it. So for this security question you want to click the top one, enter in your own random answer and then skip the alternate email and say your date of birth to anything over 18. Now once you've done that, you want to check if everything's okay, everything should be okay. And then once you've done that, confirm, put it Xbox Marketing and then confirm and then you should be creating the account in the Xbox Live loading bar. Of course, all of this will be in the description below, guys, so please do not hesitate to put the tutorial there. So anyway, once you're creating the account, it could take a while to load, or it could just take a few seconds. In my case, it takes me about 20 seconds to load it. And then I'll give you a random gamer tag generated from the Xbox 360 system. So now you're on a silver membership, you can either change your gamer tag once, or you can upgrade this to a gold membership. Now this is where I kind of dropped out a little bit. This is the one step I forgot to put on. So, when you go onto the dashboard, you want to click continue, learn more, continue, and then go across and down to no thanks. This will basically stop you from paying for Xbox Live Gold and take you straight to the dashboard. Once you've done this, you then want to scroll across to games and look for M uh, M uh, MHF5. Now, it's been updated, so a, a later game has come out, Monster Hunter Frontier 5. It's just the same as Mon Hunter, Mon Monster Hunter Frontier 4. Uh, it's just a different thumbnail or thing at start. So. What I advise you to do guys is just go and type in Monster Hunter 5, it'll be on the game's dashboard spotlight thing, and it quickly download it. This did kind of confuse me, I did try and look for MHF4, but I couldn't find it, so it looks like they've removed that game from the marketplace and they put the updated version on it. Fortunately, it's all the same guys, so just click on it, download it, it's about 20.78 megabytes, if I got that correctly. Uh, so it'll only take a few seconds to do. Yeah, it's 20.36 megabytes almost. So once you've downloaded that, you then want to load up the game. As you can see, it's so fast and easy to do. It's literally a click of a blink of an eye or whatever. Once you've downloaded it, you want to press the Xbox button and click play now. Now, when you're playing the game, it will take you onto all these advertisements and then to the game dashboard. Now, this is kind of a unique game. This game will allow you to have a cursor which you can control with your right, left, analog stick. So 
as you're going to do, you press start like you do with any other game. Everything will be in Japanese, so you probably won't be able to read anything, but it's fairly easy and simple to do. Just move your cursor around and then click the big link at the start of the screen. Now, this link's kind of hard to miss. If you can't see it, then you're probably on the wrong game or just scroll up. So, when you click on that link, it will give you a code here. Now, the bottom code is completely irrelevant. It will not work on your Xbox or online. I don't know what it is, so to be fair. So, if anyone knows what it is, then please comment in the comment section below. Now, the code at the top with the 48 thing above it and the Xbox Live and loads of Japanese symbols, that is actually a two-day code. But if you enter it online, it will give you 14 days. And if you want to look at that glitch, then the link will be on the screen right now and the description below. So, once you see that code, you then want to write it down, which is what I do. And then I show it in the corner of the screen when I type it in, just to prove to you guys it's 100% legit. And this was done uh, today when you see it uploaded. So it's done on the 4th or the 5th of October, whichever day it is today. I think it's the 4th at uh, 7.02, as you can see in the corner. So as you can see, you can see the code right there in the corner of the screen. And I type in that code. But you can pause it, write down that code just to make sure that it's the code I type in. But this is just to show you that it's 100% legit and it will definitely work for you guys. So please do not comment saying this is not working because I can guarantee this will work as shown in the video. So once you typed in this code, it will take you to redeem code. And it will just say prepaid Xbox Live Access or something like that. It won't say today, it will just say Xbox Live Access. Now to prove this to you that it's a gold membership, I do start my own party. I don't invite anyone in. But I know silver memberships aren't allowed to have their own parties. So that's kind of a privilege gold membership has. So Xbox Live Limited Time Access, that is what you redeem, and then once you've redeemed it, you then want to go back to the dashboard, just to see if it's working, you then want to create your own party, you don't have to really invite anyone, uh, but I wouldn't recommend changing the game tag, it just adds complication to referring that friend, I would just keep the game tag given, and use that online. So you want to dashboard it, it will then say connect to Xbox Live, but that will be easily resolved, just wait for a few minutes, and then once you see the dashboard, start a party, and then you'll know it's definitely on gold Xbox Live. So now I'm going to go onto my computer and show you what you do from here. So basically, once the two-day trial has uh, has expired, or the two-week trial, whichever way you redeem it, I would recommend the two-day, just for short time difference. Uh, you then want to go online after the two days when you know it's on a silver membership, and then go on to XboxRewards.com. Now, all the links in the story will be in the description below, and I'm sorry for the bad quality, I did record this through screen share with my friend, as you can see my Skype in the top corner. So anyway, once you do this, you want to go into Xbox Rewards, type it in on Google, and then go to Xbox Rewards page. Of course, you're going to have to create an account on this, which can take up to two days to create. So I recommend creating the account as soon as you do your first Xbox Live Gold. Now, I enter in a different Xbox Live Gamer Tag, but it does refer it. And as soon as you redeem another code onto it from that same game, then it'll start off the 100 Microsoft points, and you'll get 100 Microsoft points directed straight to your account. So this glitch is kind of complicated to do. As you can see there, I redeemed it and it'll say a friend referred and as soon as it gets onto Xbox Live, so as soon as you redeem the code, once you've done that on that account, then your, your main account will get 100 Microsoft points. So the full description will be in the description below. Uh, just please go and look at that tutorial. I'm really sorry, this isn't really the best tutorial you can ever get, but I'm so sorry for uploading kind of like a dodgy tutorial in the last video. Just simply because we realised that the full tutorial wasn't right. So please read the description below for the full tutorial and leaks and please drop a like and subscribe. A subscribe really helps me guys, and to see a like on my video, that just amazes me, it shows people who actually watch my content. Also, I'm going to be doing answer and uh, questions and answer video in the future, so if you have any questions about me, 0.4 Live or Glitch for the Win, please leave them in the comment section below, and I will answer them in the future videos. So until then guys, don't forget to drop a like.